What's good YouTube, it's your boy Meso Caleb and welcome back to another banger video. Today I have something special and I have a few visitors. We have my girlfriend Misha and my homeboy Sleazy. Y'all go ahead and say what's up, let's get it. Here. So nah. today we are going to do another car review. Ugh, car review. Car review. Perfect. This video is probably one of the most legendary. I am going to be getting a first hands hands-on experience of a AMG GT. The mods that he has on it right now, what I can say is downpipe tune and it's street tune. And he said that it's making about 700 horsepower to the rear wheels. Insane. This car is pretty much a supercar at this point. So, <laughs> oh God, yeah, it is. It makes me want my shit too. So, I'm gonna hit y'all right when we get there. Enjoy this little intro and let's get it, get it, go. If it's your first time watching any of my videos, make sure you do like, comment, and subscribe down below. Thank you guys for 6K. Let's get to seven. <laughs> So walking in to the AMG GTS, this is a 2017. I'm already impressed. And here we go, just sitting in. My first impression, we're gonna call it a spaceship. Like, this is the man with the plan. Go ahead, tell him your What's name. Guys? My name's Lynn. Alrighty, so Lynn here had told me a little bit about this model. So this is the 2017 AMG GTS. And the stock numbers off rip is what 503 yeah horsepower to the crank this car is no longer stock this is a twin turbo v8 and he said it's stage two tuned by dme on down pipes and it's making about 700 to the wheel or if not a little bit more than 700 to the wheel so he's planning to go bigger because he said you know amgs are too slow for him so he's going even bigger and better so off rip let me just go ahead and start by wow like the leather, carbon fiber, like everything here, the stitching, the two-tone, it, it just looks so beautiful. Look at this. The gloss black finish all right here. And everything seems like it's all about the driver. Yeah. And it's very, very comfortable. And to say that this is a two-seater, I'm extremely impressed by the comfortable, like the comfortability. I don't even know what the comfort, like just, it feels like you're at home in your own car. Because... For some of you who don't know, I'm 6'1". I'm a really tall guy, so two-seater, you know, it's it's a little iffy if you literally only have two seats because I have a Mustang and it's four seats, so you have a lot more room. In the back right here, we have, what is this, like almost like a strut? Yeah. It's almost like a strut tire brace in the rear. And look at that. And you can see the trunk space all through here. And he has a lot, quite a bit of trunk space to say that this car is quite small. And the weight on this thing, the weight, is i believe 3600 pounds in a very very fast car this is pretty much a supercar for some of you guys out there who don't know so i'm extremely excited to do this video and i'm extremely impressed on everything that i see and i think it's time to see that engine bay and then we go for a ride so if you haven't seen any of my videos make sure you do drop a like on this video and subscribe down below so let's get it this is a beautiful car Look at that. Just wow. And then I love the, the little red carbon fiber. Oh, that on the, on the, I know, but I love the accent of the, the red, like yeah. the um, the paddle shifters. That looks really good because the factory ones are a little bit smaller, yeah, so you need some room. Small. Yeah, so you need a little bit of room. So, And then you have a flat bottom leather steering wheel. And honestly, I'm really impressed. Like this is like, wow crazy and like the view of the like the dash you can see everything it doesn't feel too small your side mirror space is very good the rear can you see really good out the back or yep. is it just like visibility is great visibility is great let me see if i can get a little clip let me see if i can see i don't know if you guys can see that but the visibility is really good and overall it's a win oh let's not forget look at that does this open? No, it doesn't. Oh my god. It's like almost like a panoramic roof. I wish roof. it did though. Oh yeah, this it, this feature though, because on the outside is pitch black. So we thought yeah. it was like a hard top gloss black, yeah. but you can see straight out of it. Like this is crazy. So I think this is another cool touch like um, on the cosmetic side. And is this what? Suede or Alcantara? Alcantara. Alcantara. I love this. It has an Alcantara headliner. 
So I'm extremely impressed. And just look at the seats. These are like, well, AMG, like Recaro seats. These are really nice. <laughs> They're really snug. Yeah, they they don't feel too uncomfortable. Yeah. Like they can. F I feel like personally, after a while, like on a long drive, yeah. you can probably get tired. You know, especially he works out a lot at the gym, so on a long drive, I can say you'll be like, mm, my back is hurting. You know, you need a little, you know, something yeah. right here. But for a quick weekend warrior type driver, this definitely will suit you. So definitely win my book. Let's pop that hood and let's get to it. So looking at the first look. The first thing you notice is the turbos. Look at that. You see the turbos hiding under there and you already know this thing is a monster. So the engine bay is very sleek, it's very clean. It's not doing too much. It's not screaming like, oh, I'm 700 horsepower. Like it's not doing anything like that. It's almost sleeper in a way if you think about it because you can't really tell that anything's done to it even though this car is crazy fast. For everybody who wants to know what 700 horsepower look like, here it is. And the tire setup. Uh, let me get started on the tire setup. We are on 265s in the front. Uh, I think, what size uh, rim is this? This is what, 18s? Uh, I think it's a 19. 19, so 19 inch rims, 265s in front, staggered to 295s. I think these are Michelin Sports, right? Uh, Super Sports. Yeah. Super Sport, Michelin Super Sports. And then we come around the back right here with the carbon fiber diffuser. Look at this. This thing is insane. And do you have anything done to the actual exhaust besides downpipes? No, the exhaust is stock. Stock exhaust. So, this thing is a monster. 700 horsepower to the rear wheels. This is what it looks like, guys. And let's not get started on look at, like, like I just got to go back and just look at this. Sitting as a driver, this is what you see as a driver of a Mercedes-Benz AMG GTS. 220 miles per hour on the dash, 8,000 RPM redliner. Oh my god, the steering wheel is so sleek, so comfortable. Flat bottom steering wheels are always the best way to go. You feel comfortable. He has aftermarket paddle shifters, red carbon fiber gloss, and this thing is nice. I hope you guys can hear this wind is insane. This wind is trying to beat me up today, but I'm extremely impressed and you actually have a lot of leg room like if you guys can see here like i'm not uncomfortable here i can set it you know what i'm saying i can switch through without feeling like i'm i'm cramped up in the two-seater so i think mercedes-benz did do a great job with this car they did a phenomenal job and then like i said here's another look at that the, the rear like the rear view you can actually see quite a bit like very well let me see if i can get right there you can see everything there we go, look at that. First feel of the GTS. Oh my god. This is and the seats are so comfortable. Here we go, let's do it. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. That sound. Bro, what the This is 
crazy. I know this is too much fun. It does get fun. Oh my god. Like still can get like super loose. Yeah. Yeah. It's not. Grips. Yeah. So to describe this feeling for those of you who want to know what this feels like, your feet feel like you're, they're coming up off the floor as he's just taking off. And we weren't even going that fast. It's just the ramping of the speed. And then we pull up next to another, another fence. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh my God. Like, this is crazy. Like, I, I'm speechless. Um, how long did yeah. it take you to get used to this? Uh, not very long, to be honest. And then what did you drive before this? Uh, Mustang. 5.0. 5.0. 5.0. 5.0. Was it uh, the 10 speed or the 6 speed manual? 10. 10 speed. So, he was already used to driving something this fast. But like, I only had that car for like. To be honest, I only had that car for like three months. Three months, so yeah. you didn't really do much with it. Yeah. Like it was, but still, I mean, you kind of like worked your way up there. That's what, like 400, you get maybe like 420, 430 to the wheel. Upgrading to 700. <laughs> it's a big jump, but not too bad. I can understand if you went from like, you know, like a, a Toyota Camry yeah. to this. That's a big difference because you're getting an eco car to a supercar. So it's not that bad of a jump, but I think this is wonderful. the pop like just listen it doesn't it's like, take much either too like, yeah like just, just a little bit like little bit throttle, throttle. just a little bit of throttle watch and they just just a little bit of throttle and like, we're like going like regular speed yeah we're literally going we're going 15 under the speed limit and it just takes a little bit once it hits what give it a little bit of literally he's cruising at 2k to like 2500 rpms as soon as you go up to 3k it just are enjoying this video this is another update don't forget to smash that subscribe button oh, I'm just I can't even talk because I'm just blown away don't forget to smash that subscribe button also turn on post notifications click that little bell in the top right of your screen and don't forget that you will be the first notified to see all of my videos and we can get more videos just like this you guys make this stuff come to life so let's get more clips man also Thank you for 6K, so let's do it. Actually, let's get another reaction. I want to see my reaction, because like I love watching this stuff back. Like, I don't know, do you understand yeah, what I'm yeah, feeling yeah. like? You can kind of feel the front end. But like, my seatbelt locked up and everything. I'm stuck in the damn seatbelt. <laughs> Hold on, don't go. Hold on. Because I'm stuck in my seatbelt. I couldn't even sit <laughs> up. Horsepower. That's what 700 horsepower feels like right here. So I don't think I'm settling for anything else other under 700. So if you have a nice little supercar and you want to top that, I think you guys got to compete. Let's do it. Jesus Christ. And there you have it. This is a oh my goodness. This wraps it up for the AMG GTS. This car is insane. We didn't want to do too much crazy because we were not in Mexico. So 
this was solid little pulls is all it takes to go crazy in this car and we definitely did it i hope you guys enjoyed this video this insane car let me just go ahead and take another seat in it because when i go home i'm gonna cry i'm gonna cry so oh my god like if for those who don't understand the amount of power that this car holds the entire time, every time he took off, my feet just went behind the dash. Like they went up in, into the dash and I just was like, what the hell? It may not look fast on camera. I don't know if you can tell, but 700 horsepower in a foreign is a different breed. It's not a Hellcat, it's not a ZL1, it's not a GT500. This is a foreign. This is a Mercedes-Benz AMG GTS. This car is insane. And I think we have to top this. It's gonna take us a while before we top this car. I'm not even gonna lie to you. So. I just, I, I'm speechless. Give me a hundred likes on this video. This is insane. That's all we're asking for is a hundred likes. If you can't make that happen, I don't know what I'm doing in my life, man. Honestly. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you do drop a like down below. Subscribe and click post notifications. Click that bell and you'll be notified every time I upload. And we're definitely going to have more supercars on the way. So without further ado, it's your boy Metso Caleb. And this has been an amazing journey with this video. Let's get it, get it go. If you guys want to see more videos of the AMG, definitely comment more videos and let's get it.